Until now, it was believed that the only thing better than an aircraft carrier is a large or very large aircraft carrier. The best representatives of this weapon will be discussed below. But first, let's go over a brief history of the evolution of aircraft carriers in order to better understand their importance in the modern balance of power. The idea and concept of an aircraft carrier as a ship of a new type first appeared in 1908. In World War I, aircraft carriers were only carriers of seaplanes. The pioneer was the British Ark Royal, which carried six seaplane bombers and two fighters. Seaplanes from the Ark Royal attacked the Turkish positions. After the First World War, Besides the United States, only Great Britain could claim superpower status. While the United States and Great Britain were competing, Japan became stronger in the Far East. In the 1920s and 30s, seaplanes were launched from the deck using a catapult, and after completing the mission, they land down next to the ship and were lifted aboard using cranes. Then the scheme of combining aircraft carriers with aircraft on a wheeled chassis appeared. The aircraft hangar was located below deck. The visible part of the aircraft carrier consisted of a straight, smooth deck and a superstructure on the starboard side. Because, according to the observations of the military, during an unsuccessful landing approach and subsequent climb, the pilots preferred to turn to the left. By the end of the 1930s, the aircraft carrier was only a floating airfield and did not represent a formidable independent force. World War II was a triumph for the aircraft carriers. The post-war development of aircraft carriers was associated primarily with the emergence of jet aircraft and the use of atomic energy in the power plants of ships. Superiority in this types of weapons remains with the United States. The U.S. Navy has 10 Nimitz-class aircraft carriers and the latest Ford-class aircraft carrier, Gerald R. Ford. Two more Fords, John F. Kennedy and Enterprise, are at different stages of construction. The total cost of all ships is comparable to the annual state budget of a major European country, Poland or Greece. Aircraft carriers of the Nimitz type have a maximum displacement of up to 106,000. The construction of such a giant is a matter of incredible complexity. It is a city on the water, with shops, sports grounds, barber shops, and other urban infrastructure. The ship's crew includes 3,200 people, Another 2,480 people are part of the air wing. Ships of the Nimitz type were built on a modular basis. First, different modules were produced, and then they were connected together. There are 160 such modules in total. One aircraft carrier uses up to 60,000 tons of steel and 1,360 tons of filler material. Ammunition base, aviation fuel storage, reactor base, and other vital areas are protected by 2.5-inch Kevlar. The flight deck is approximately 250 feet wide. The gallery deck is located immediately below it. The catapult control center, combat control post, and part of the cabins are located here. Below the gallery is a 26-foot high hangar deck. Airplanes and helicopters are stored for service here. The speed of these 1,000-foot monsters reaches 30 knots. The aircraft carrier's record performance is provided by two A4W Westinghouse nuclear reactors of 550 megawatts each, four steam turbines, and four diesel engines. The power plant removes all restrictions on the distance and duration of the voyage. Each Nimitz has a deck-based air wing of 66 units. The design includes a flat flight deck and four catapults. The wing includes four multi-purpose fighter bombers, F-A-18 Hornet or Super Hornet, four aircraft electronic warfare EA-6B Prowler, four AWACS aircraft Grumman E-2 Hawkeye, two transport aircraft C-2 Greyhound, eight anti-submarine helicopters Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk. The combat strength is impressive. For example, the Finnish Air Force has a total of 54 F-A-18 Hornet aircraft, Newest Ford-class aircraft carrier Gerald R. Ford is the world's grandest ship. The Pentagon calls it the Lord of the Seas. During its construction and equipment, 23 new technologies were introduced. Ford's main strengths are its new propulsion system and zonal power distribution system, which helped reduce the total headcount to 4,660 people. The displacement of the vessel is 112,000 tons, almost 1,100 feet long, 
The flight deck is 225 feet wide. The aircraft carrier has two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, 700 megawatts each. Together, they could provide energy to Monaco, Liechtenstein, San Marino, and Andorra for a year. The speed exceeds 30 knots. The aircraft carrier of the Gerald R. Ford type is capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft and is designed to use the latest fifth-generation fighter, the F-35C. In turn, the U.S. Marine Corps relies on the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing fighter. The aircraft carrier club has a limited number of members. China is among the most ambitious. The People's Army of China has two aircraft carriers in service. The first, Liaoning, was commissioned in 2012. China has obtained the technology of building superships through a scam. The aircraft carrier was laid down in 1985 at the Black Sea Shipyard in Nicolia for the USSR Navy. The original name of the project was Riga. Then the aircraft carrier cruiser was renamed Varyag. After the collapse of the USSR, the ship went to Ukraine and its construction stopped. In 1998, China bought the unfinished ship, supposedly to set up a floating casino. However, as soon as the aircraft carrier entered the country, the cunning Chinese immediately changed their plans. The aircraft carrier is 997 feet long, width 246 feet. The Leoning design is close to the one-type Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Kuznetsov. A special feature of cruisers of this type is the flight deck with a large springboard. The reason is the absence of a steam catapult and also a non-nuclear power plant. Without a catapult, heavy aircraft such as flying radars, tankers, and attack fighters with maximum load cannot take off from the deck. Therefore, the carrier air wing consists of J-15 carrier-based fighters, which are also a copy of the Soviet Su-33 aircraft. Liaoning cannot assure China's presence in the world's oceans. It is more suitable for operations in coastal seas. The second Chinese aircraft carrier was named Shandong, which was launched in 2017. Technically, it differs little from Liaoning, although the Chinese military speaks of a higher speed. The Russian Admiral Kuznetsov entered service in 1991. Its characteristics are fully consistent with the Chinese copy, only instead of the J-15 fighters, the cruiser carries the Su-33. After maneuvers off the coast of Syria, Admiral Kuznetsov is undergoing repairs and modernization in order to extend its service life. On the world ocean, Kuzya, as the Russian military calls the aircraft carrier, does not lay claim. However, it will remain a formidable force in the North Sea. Russia plans to replace Kuznetsov with a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Great Britain occupies a worthy place in the club of countries that own the technology of building aircraft carriers. Currently, the same type HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales have been launched and are in service. The length of an aircraft carrier of this type is 920 to 930 feet, width 240 feet. The two gas-powered turbines MT-30 provide two-thirds of the 190 megawatts power required to power the 65,000-ton ship. This energy is enough to provide a city the size of Swindon. The crew and the air wing total 1,600 people. The aviation group consists of 40 aircraft and helicopters. The aircraft carrier is capable of carrying 24 F-35B fighters, 9 Merlin anti-submarine helicopters, and 4 to 5 Merlin helicopters in the AWACS version. In addition, the aircraft carrier will be able to take on board Army aviation helicopters, AH-64 Apache, AW-159 Wildcat, and even CH-47 Chinook of various modifications. France, unlike Britain, has only one operational aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, which entered service in 2001. The length of the ship is 856 feet, width 211 feet. De Gaulle is the only nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the world that is not part of the U.S. Navy and the only non-American aircraft carrier to use steam catapults during takeoff. De Gaulle's air wing consists of 10 to 14 Rafale M multi-purpose fighters, 10 to 12 Super Entenard attack aircraft, 2-3 E-2C Hawkeye early warning and control aircraft, as well as 4-5 search and rescue aircraft and transport helicopters. The French are developing a 70,000-ton Pang-class aircraft carrier that can accommodate 32 NGF fighters and several E-2D Hawkeyes. 
the only functioning Indian aircraft carrier, Vikramaditya, was handed over to the Indian Navy in 2013 by Russia. In fact, this is the modernized Soviet aircraft carrying cruiser Admiral Gorshkov. Therefore, it also features an inclined flight deck with a 14-degree diving board. The ship is capable of carrying 14 to 16 aircraft weighing up to 25 tons. These parameters include MiG 29K, Rafale MFA 18. The aircraft carrier may also carry KA 28 and KA 31 helicopters. It is possible to use Indian helicopters HAL Druv and Russian Ka 60, Ka 62, Kasatka. Japan operates four aircraft carriers. Two of them are of the Hyuga type. They cannot be classified as full fledged aircraft carriers because the deck is only 646 feet long. Aircraft carriers of the Hyuga type are not capable of carrying airplanes and are equipped with helicopters. Each is capable of carrying up to 10 helicopters. Two more aircraft carriers are of the Izumo class, Izumo and Kaga. Their length is 814 feet and a displacement of 27,000 tons. This is enough to carry F-35C fighters and early warning aircraft. The Australian Navy's Canberra is one of two aircraft carriers in its fleet. It was launched in 2014, but in March 2017, it was forced to return to the port due to serious problems with the power plant. Experts have included Canberra in the list of the most unreliable aircraft carriers in the world. On the same list is the Australian Navy helicopter carrier Adelaide, the second aircraft carrier to be sent to port in 2017 after engine problems. Both ships reach speeds of up to 20 knots. Their displacement is 27,000 tons. The air wing consists of 18 helicopters. The deck length of 755 feet gives hope in the future to use them for basing F-35B fighters with short takeoff and vertical landing. The flagship of the Italian Navy, the multi-purpose aircraft carrier Cavour, is designed for 8 to 10 fighters and 12 helicopters. It has a cruising range of 7,000 nautical miles and a speed of 16 knots. Cavour entered service in 2009 but has recently been upgraded to accommodate the fifth-generation F-35B fighters. They will replace the AV-8B Harrier attack aircraft. Hyundai Heavy Industries is building a series of Dogdo-class amphibious assault ships for the South Korean Navy. The first ship of this type has been in service since 2007. The second, Murado, entered service in the summer of 2021. Officially, these ships are considered helicopter carriers. However, the South Korean military also hopes for their ability to receive and send aircraft with short takeoff and vertical landing. How much their hopes are justified, we will soon find out. In 2022, both ships will appear in the annual exercise. Brazil should be here with its aircraft carrier Sao Paulo. However, the commander of the Navy decided to withdraw it from service. In March 2021, Sao Paulo was sold for 1.9 million US dollars for scrap. The fact is that Sao Paulo is a former aircraft carrier Foch of the Clemenceau class of the French Navy. It was founded back in 1957 and entered the French Navy on July 15, 1963. In February 2001, Foch arrived in Brazil and was named Sao Paulo. The ship broke down so often that the military chose to get rid of it. Let's count the Sao Paulo deal among the most unsuccessful deals of the 21st century. The Spaniards also suffered dealing with other people's technologies, so they decided to create an aircraft carrier on their own. The project was implemented by the Spanish company Navantia. The result is the universal aircraft carrier Juan Carlos I, which entered service in 2010. The ship has a 663-foot deck with a diving board. On the deck, there are eight landing pads for AV-8 Harrier II, F-35 or medium helicopters as well as four landing points for heavy helicopters CH-47 Chinook and even one point for the V-22 Osprey Tiltrotter.